What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Witch Queen DLC uh, coming to PlayStation Plus monthly games this month. Uh, of course, if you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber, no matter if you have the base version or the most expensive version of PlayStation Plus, on March the 5th here in just a couple days, the new games will be released. And the Witch Queen DLC for Destiny 2 is part of this bundle. Now, of course, Bungie is under the uh, Sony umbrella now that uh, Sony did purchase Bungie. So I figure we're going to start seeing more and more things come out for PlayStation in the future. Uh, but if you have not played this DLC, by far this is the best DLC Bungie has made for Destiny 2. So if you're looking to get back into Destiny 2 or if you're looking to start playing or you just started playing recently, this is a definitely uh, this definitely is a great DLC to pick up if you're on PlayStation. So be sure, you know, between, like I said, uh, March the 5th and the end of the month that you put that, uh, you know, either that DLC in your library in your PlayStation or go ahead and download that. That way you own it permanently uh, here, uh, kind of from here on going forward. Now, this DLC, like I said, is one of my personal favorites. And it really is a great time if you are new to the game to get into the game and start playing because the final shape does not come out to June. It did get delayed. And there are tons and tons of sales going on right now on Destiny's DLC. Some of them are six, seven, eight dollars at times in the PlayStation Store. So you can pick up the Witch Queen for free and pick up some of the other DLCs for really cheap if you are just now getting into the game. But in my personal opinion, for me, the Witch Queen was one of the best stories that they ever made. Uh, it has a great campaign. Of course, this is kind of where they introduced legendary difficulty to the game. Now, this did come out about two years ago was when the witch queen was released there are new types of enemies in here uh that are sabathun soldiers she has gifted with powers of the light so you will see some of the enemies you know kind of act just like you would as a hunter warlock or titan they have the same type powers that you will also um some really good exotic and legendary weapons would come with this campaign uh, one of the one of the personal favorites of mine when it comes to exotic weapons, the Ostio Strega, is part of this DLC. And another thing that is great with this DLC is this one weapon crafting was introduced to the game. And there is, uh, in the last two years, there have been a ton of weapons added to the game that you can craft. Crafting is a bit of a flawed system at times, but it also has a lot of benefit to it as well. And weapon crafting was something that was added to the game that people really enjoy. And that does come with this DLC also. Uh, another thing that will be featured with this DLC, of course, is the Vow of the Disciple Raid. And, of course, the Wellspring six, uh, new six-player match-made activity. Uh, this is something that's within the area that, uh, that you will be in. Kind of a, a six-man thing that you can do uh, with, you know, just kind of in the open world. Almost like a public event, but just a, a little bit more of a, on a, difficult, uh, a difficulty scale there than a regular public event in Destiny 2, but it is six man, it's match made, a very enjoyable event as well. And of course, if you just really do enjoy this DLC, you can purchase the Witch Queen Dungeon Key in the Destiny store that has the Duality Dungeon and the Spire of the Watch, uh, Watcher Dungeon as well. So just keep in mind, there's a few things that don't always come with the Destiny's DLCs. The one thing that I never really agreed with is the dungeon keys, the way they do that. Unless you pre-order, you know, the more expensive version of the game, you have to purchase the dungeon key uh, when the dungeons are released. It's only like 20 bucks, but at the same time, I wish all of this came with the base game. But sadly, that is not the case. But overall, the Witch Queen does offer a lot uh, of content, especially for the price of nothing if you are on PlayStation. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you're looking forward to pick this, picking this up. And of course, if you've been playing Destiny 2 lately, let me know what you've been getting into on the game. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.